Hello, praise Jesus. How are you doing? I hope that you are doing well. I hope that the Lord has kept you well because he is faithful. He is gracious. He is good to us. Thank you so much for clicking in. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Tusabe. And in this channel, we discuss about the word of God, prayers, faith, and ministry. You are in the right place. The Lord has directed you here for a reason and for a purpose. For them that keep coming back, may the Lord bless you so much and may he fulfill his good purpose upon your lives in the name of Jesus. You are blessed of the Lord. So today I want us to uh, continue yeah, with the series uh, we started uh, in the last video, but one, it is about serving the Lord as a university student. I know the last episode, the last video I did was not under that uh, series but i think i will be alternating them yeah i'll i'll be doing my my um, i'll be doing teachings then i i do a video and uh, serving the lord as a university student so the topic of today is about chastity chastity basically is sexual purity yeah uh, and um going to focus on the biblical perspective of sexual purity that is um abstaining from uh, sexual immorality such as a fornication adultery um, fornication adultery yeah bestiality homosexuality yes and um, and uh, so this week the jquat christian union was having a chastity week and basically to emphasize the importance of sexual purity among christian Christians and young Christians who are in the university and um, to culminate uh, the chastity week. They usually have the chastity week on the week leading to Valentine's, that is from 7th to 14th, a week leading to the Valentine's. And uh, they culminated the chastity week on, uh, well, on 12th, that was on Saturday, with a chastity walk. Uh, the, during the chastity walk, they just walked around Jaquat, out, outside, that is Juja, uh, holding placards that are written um, that it is in the Lord's will that we live sexually pure life, uh, quoting Bible verses, and they stopped at various instances to, to proclaim with their mouth whatever it is that they are doing. And I loved the energy. I must say I loved the energy especially coming from university students, um, uh, being bold to declare or being bold yeah, to declare that they are submissive enough or they desire that they be sexually pure because we know that it is the Lord that graces us. It is the Lord that graces us to, to, to embrace the word and to, to work towards it. And yes, so I, I, I am going to show you the videos it's not going to be a long video, uh, just a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit of the videos, how they did their chastity work so that you will be encouraged as a young person, as an, uh, as a, an, as an adult too. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I love, I love, uh, I love being challenged uh, when it comes to serving the Lord and also being encouraged because we know that together we can encourage each other. So, um, well, I'm speaking much, so um, yeah. Let's 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 see how they did their chastity walk. Yes. So maybe before I show you the videos of the chastity walk, just to say a few words on concerning chastity or concerning sexual purity. Number one is that it is the Lord's will for us to live sexually pure lives because he has called us to purity. He has called us to godliness. He has called us to cleanliness and walking in the light and not walking in darkness and uncleanness. I would like to read First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse um, 3, 3 and 4. The Bible says that, um, for this is the will of God, mm -hmm your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality, that each of you should know how to possess, 
possess in other versions will say control yourself yeah you should know how to control your own vessel or your own body in sancti- in sanctification and in honor not in passion of lust like the gentiles who do not know god yes 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 verse 8 will says that therefore he who rejects this does not reject man but god who has also given us his holy spirit and i will just want to encourage you that if god says that it is his will it is possible it is possible to be sexually uh, sexually pure it is possible to break free from um uh, sexual immorality i'm saying breaking free uh particularly because sexual immorality can be a uh, bondage can be uh what is it called what is it called can be wow <laughs> when i think about it i think i will just write it here so um if it is uh, the, if the bible says that it is god's will it means it is possible and i love us it we have read us it says that uh he has given us his holy spirit to lead us to help us in our weaknesses the bible says that we do not know how we ought to pray for but the holy spirit leads us and so the holy spirit is there to to help us in our weaknesses and yeah that is number 1 number 2 is that um we have been called to honor god or to glorify god with our bodies as well as, as sorry as as well as our spirit and not only our spirit in as much as we would want to emphasize on that but the lord has also called us in the same way we glorify god in our spirits that we may glorify him in our bodies glorifying means worshiping you know romans 12 says that i beseech you brethren to to uh, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice to the lord yeah as your way of worship and i would want to read the book of 1 corinthians chapter 6 verse 20 or let me start verse 19 it says or do you not know that your body is the temple of the holy spirit who is in you whom you have from god and you are not your own for you are bought at a price therefore glorify god in your body and in your spirit which are god's not only in your spirit but in your body glorify in your body glorify god in whatever you do in whatever you do by your body glorify god even if it's not sexual immorality whatever you do your body just the way you you safeguard your spirit safeguard your body too because the body too belongs to god and we are not our own so let us uh worship and glorify god through our bodies because that is what he desires from us and uh, i love what is written i've just read first the first thessalonians that is verse um wow that is verse 4 it says that uh, that you should know how to possess or to control your body meaning that know how to control it means that it must be pa- a purposeful step that you have made it is a conscious step that you make to control yourself it is not something that just happens because you probably don't have that chance to be moral but you have it it, it means that you are you see how daniel did when he purposed in his heart the bible says he purposed in his heart not to defile himself with the with the king's um delicacies and that is how uh, abstaining or having sexual purity is you are purposing from your heart you purpose from your heart that in as much as i will face one two three temptation i am purposing in my heart that i will not fall into it and you pray for the grace because the grace is there so uh let me not speak much um let us see how the jquat cu christian union well the jquat christian union they did their chastity work may the lord bless you so much and uh for me I, i when i was seeing those videos i i was just praying for those young that are uh, may the lord help you you see they're carrying those placards that are written the intentions of god concerning sexual purity for me is them declaring out their faith loudly to people it is them or it is them um uh, you know, having the same mind with god it is them uh even having a prayer to god it is them um 
being uh, totally sold out to God to receive the grace to indeed be sexually pure. And uh, may the Lord bless you, even as you watch this video. And uh, may you be encouraged. Yes, and um, be encouraged.